Nikola Tesla did not admire a relativity of Albert Einstein. And uh, he had good reasons for that. Uh, after I studied relativity for 20 years, my conclusions are that Einstein him, himself, he did not understand well his work. So uh, the first thing to be understood in relativity, what is relative? Why is the title theory of relativity? Every teacher of physics at university professor will tell you, Einstein has proved that the time is relative. Einstein didn't, didn't prove that time is relative. Uh, this is a wrong assumption. What is relative in our universe is the speed, the velocity of changes. Okay. Let's say you have a clock. You have a clock. I have one here. You see, clock is a mechanism that always moves, yeah? So when this clock will start moving very fast, it will start ticking slowly, slower, ping, ping. Why? Because when a given object is moving very fast, it increases its kinetic energy. And this kinetic energy can be seen as an additional part of relativistic mass. And because relativistic mass is increasing, the energy density of space, of the local space in which is clock is diminishing. And that's why clocks run slower so relative motion of clocks is <clears throat> is uh, related only to the variable energy density of space it has nothing to do with inertial system it has not it has nothing to do with the with the uh, position of the observer a relative rate of, of clocks is observer invariant. Observer has nothing to do with this. And now for 100 years, they are teaching at university relativity, which actually is uh, it's not, it's not a proper relativity. Okay. This famous experiment with the train. I am on the train. And you listening this video, you are on the on on the train station. So I'm moving now in the in, in the passing train. I have a clock, you have a clock. My clock is running slower because of because the clock is moving. And this slower rate of my clock is valid for me and is valid for you. And your clock is running faster because you are, your clock is at rest. And this clock is running faster for you and it's running faster for me. You understand? This idea of relativity that the, that the position of the observer is determining the speed of clock is absolute nonsense. 
And they are teaching this, uh, this nonsense, uh, nonsense at universities now for 100 years, more than 100 years. The other nonsense is that space is curved. <laughs> space, universal space is flat. NASA has measured this very precisely. And the light is curving in the space in, when, when moving in the universal space because of the different variable energy density of space. Because when the energy density of space changes, also the refraction index changes and light is bending. Okay. You can, uh, you can uh, see this in our latest article. So these are only two, let's say only two, the most uh, outstanding e examples of how relativity is misinterpreted misinterpre for more than 100 years. Relativity should be described in a time invariant space because a space time, the time is a four dimensional space, is, uh, is, is a wrong concept. Time was never four dimensional space. This is a kind of hocus pocus idea. Okay, this is hocus pocus idea. <laughs> Universal space is time invariant. There is no physical past. There is no physical future. You can see a third article about this. We published this in, uh, in World Scientific. So, in the scientific community, there is absolutely no interest to challenge relativity and to see what relativity in which sense the relativity is good and what in relativity is wrong and should be uh, 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 changed, developed. Relativity is a kind of uh, a kind of religion, and uh, there are about maybe hundred physicists on this globe. They are playing with this equation, equations of of uh, of general relativity. Here and there, changing few things and mixing this, and there is absolutely no result. <laughs> okay. The theory of relativity, general theory of relativity, is a mathematical model. It's not a physical model. And will never lead to any progress regarding our understanding of gravity. And will never lead to the anti-gravity, because there are few theoretical physicists on this globe which, on the basis of general relativity, try to explain to explain how anti-gravity could work. This will never, this model will never work, because anti-gravity has to do with variable energy density of space. I think that's enough for today. <laughs> Thank you very much.